It's estimated 3,000 children lost a parent in the September 11th attacks. For many, the trauma has followed them well into adulthood. 15 years later, Brooks Silva Branga caught up with one of the 9-11 children. Before Matt Van Auken moved to Portland, Oregon from New Jersey, he finally did what he had long avoided and visited his father's name at the World Trade Center Memorial. I just stood there for a while and let it come out. I was like, now I can go. Now I can leave. The visit that finally helped him make peace with his father's death was 12 years after 9-11. We first talked to Matt as the first anniversary approached. Jesse. He was a rebellious 15-year-old with big plans. I've had my dream of being a doctor. I know my dad wanted me to succeed, so he would have, want, would have been happy to see me grow up and go through medical school and, you know, pass all my classes and whatnot and just make a lot of money and be happy. So how did that dream turn out? Um, it turned out. Today, Dr. Van Auken is in his final year of medical residency, but his reasons for practicing medicine have changed. Instead of a lucrative specialty, he decided to become a family doctor. The moments of healing after my father's passing were in the people who approached me and said, man, this sucks, and sat with me. And you want to be that for someone else? Yeah. Matt says he found peace through daily meditation and yoga and annual letters to his dad. And then I light the letter on fire and I let it, I offer it away. Last September, he wrote about his marriage to Jamie. This year, he'll share the news that they're expecting a baby. I'm gonna be proud to tell them what kind of a person their grandfather was. I'm gonna be proud to tell them about what he taught me. That's, to me, the foundation for this family that Jamie and I are building together now. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, Portland, Oregon.